I've been running around like crazy today, but while I'm here waiting for my oil change, let's talk about some relatively common Pokemon who are actually a lot stronger than you might expect. The first one is one that everyone should have access to, Pidgeot. It's the strongest flying type in the game right now, and with a moveset like Wing Attack and Hurricane, it can deal huge amounts of damage to grass types. With Pidgey being so common and easy to evolve, everyone should be able to easily get a Pidgeot. Now, it's obviously not as good for experience if you're evolving it all the way to Pidgeot as opposed to just evolving Pidgeys and then transferring the Pidgeotos, but if you do find one with good IVs, try evolving it all the way to Pidgeot, and if you get a moveset like Wing Attack and Hurricane, keep it. The next one is another pretty common Pokemon, and that's Raticate. If you have Eradicate with Bite and Hyper Beam, it deals a surprising amount of damage. It benefits from Stab, meaning Hyper Beam deals an extra 25% damage, and Bite has really good DPS, and it's a fast move, so you can use it and dodge effectively so that Raticate doesn't take a ton of damage. I have a few Raticates stockpiled, only two of them have the ideal moveset of Bite and Hyper Beam, but they're good to hold on to if you find them because they can be pretty effective for training gyms, since they have relatively low CP but can actually trade blows effectively with Pokemon up to twice their CP. If you need a good counter to the current domination of water types in the game, Parasect is a surprisingly effective attacker. With Fury Cutter and Solar Beam, it deals a huge amount of damage because Fury Cutter charges energy quickly so you can use Solar Beam more often, and Solar Beam just melts through water types. Both of these moves benefit from Stab, and with an extra 25% damage, Solar Beam is going to take huge chunks out of water types. Parasect is even better against Slowbro, because Slowbro is weak to bug, so both of its moves are super effective. In my experience, Paris is pretty common, so you should be able to get a decent Parasect pretty easily. I have two with the ideal moveset. I'm going to hold on to both of them, but eventually I'll power up the one with higher IVs. Venomoth is a pretty good Executor counter. Executor, being Psychic and Grass type, has a double weakness to Bug, so both of Venomoth's moves, Bug Bite and Bug Buzz, actually deal, with Stab, almost double their normal damage to an Executor. You do have to be careful because Venomoth is Poison type, so Executor with Psychic type moves will actually deal super effective damage back. So if you come across an Executor with both Grass type moves, Venomoth is good because it's going to resist those, but if it has Psychic type moves, you need to be careful and make sure you're on top of your dodges. Another effective Exeggutor counter, although maybe not as common, is Scyther. With Fury Cutter and Bug Buzz, again, that deals almost double its normal damage to Exeggutor, and since it's not Poison type, it's not going to be weak to Exeggutor's Psychic type moves. Scyther, though, is not as common, but if you do have one with Fury Cutter and Bug Buzz, try it out against an Exeggutor. Alright, my car is ready, but those are just a few of my sleeper picks common Pokemon that you can use to take down some of the common gym defenders. Um, obviously it's not an exhaustive list. If there's any Pokemon that you guys have found that are really useful for taking down stronger Pokemon, go ahead and leave them, leave, leave them in the comments and let everyone know. I gotta pick up my car. Today is gonna be a very busy day. I have a lot to take care of because Cassie and I are going on a trip this weekend and it's gonna be really exciting. But today, we gotta get some stuff done. First stop, breakfast. Uh, Lunch time, but it's breakfast. I'm still not 100% yet, so need a little help today. Also, always get the store brand. Exact same ingredients, exactly the same.
trying to get a haircut. I don't know where this barber shop actually is. Not in here. It's to the right. To the right? I'm gonna visit them right now. Awesome. Thank you. Secret barber. like hidden but oh my god Tina is so nice she gave us water offered us like soda pizza who offers you pizza at a barber shop and red vines and, and red vines lollipop. and lollipops it's crazy so Irvine Stone Creek Plaza barber shop it's kind of hidden kind of hidden but <laughs> you get pizza I gotta pick up my car. Obviously, this is not the car that I came here in. <laughs> Let me explain. I came in for an oil change, and they went to update the software on my car's computer, and it fried the whole thing. Yeah, can I have uh, number 103, please? It's gonna take a couple days to fix, and since we had this trip planned, they set me up in a rental car. It took a little longer than expected, couple hours longer and I'm supposed to be speaking at we on the 8th tonight in an hour so I have to get home shower get to the 8th collect myself we'll see how it goes on the plus side it crosses one thing off the list which was buy a Bluetooth speaker because the radio in my car doesn't work but since we have this at least we get to listen to music on the road well I made it barely I hate feeling rushed like this Jeez. What's up? So Dante is through those doors. Then Dante, then you introduce Nick, and then we'll do like 10 or 15 minutes of talking, then we'll do like some questions. Q&A. Okay. Just talk about your everyday like... Hashtag me on the 8th. Um, support all the artists here. Talk and hang out before and after. Collaborate with people because that's what really the night's about. It's about, about that and also about inspiring each other, educating each other, learning from each other. It's really important for, to bring people out in our own community that come out and do things that we are studying, things that we are trying to accomplish. And someone right now who has been able to scale a YouTube channel from zero to 500,000 500, in the last subs. two months. Sub, subs. And it's a... Uh, He'll explain the story from where, where he's at and the, the, the times and tribulations about keeping up a channel because we all are at a place where we're scaling our content, our ideas, and, uh, and we need to learn from each other. So give it one time for Trenton Nick. <laughs> yes! Yes! Thank you. For the last year and a half, like Dante said, I've been working with him, uh, Bo more recently. So I've been doing a lot of shooting and editing from then, January of last year until now, really, I've just been studying, watching YouTube videos, you know, seeing what works and what doesn't on his channel, seeing what works for people, other people on YouTube. Um, I started watching a lot of daily channels, good ones and bad ones. The comments on my videos are overwhelmingly positive and I attribute a lot of that to my positivity in the videos and the way that I'm conveying this information and trying to be helpful and being honest which I think is a really important thing, no matter what you're creating, is to be honest, because I think people can pick up on that and see when something's genuine, and they just respond more positively to that. And I think yeah. you've acquired the right skills at the right time to kind of... I think part of you growing your channel is the style that you're shooting, <coughs> the style that you're editing, and it's contributed by everything that you've been around for the last few years, so it's like, it's kind of one of those things that's kind of like the right timing, that things are coming together at the right time. This, the success of this channel has really been like a culmination of so many different things that I've been doing throughout my life. 
it all just kind of came together in the right way at the right time. So for that, I'm really thankful. Give me a trainer tip next. Let's grab the channel. Overall, great. I mean, great keynote. Trainer tip Nick, letting people know about that YouTube life. And we were graced by Wong Fu, man. Those are vets. That's like YouTube, YouTube giants. Legends. Legends. It's we on the 8th, man. Follow us. We're all. I'll put it here somewhere. Dante asked me, like, three days ago if I could talk at the 8th, and he said it was only going to be a 10 or 15 minute talk, which sounded fine to me. And then today I saw that I was actually on the flyer billed as the guest speaker. So I got kind of nervous at that point. But overall, I think it went really well considering how hectic of a day it was and that I was pretty unprepared to actually speak that long. But I think for tomorrow's video, what I'm going to do, instead of putting out a quick tip, I'm going to do kind of a meta video talking about the channel. I'll probably cut up and give you guys a condensed version of what I talked about at the 8th and maybe add a little bit more to it because I know there are a lot of content creators watching this and you know 500,000 subscribers in two months is an insane amount of growth so I just want to share with you guys the lessons that I've learned from that and the things that I did that I think really helped the channel grow quickly so if you guys are okay with that I think that's what I'll do for Saturday now I'm finally back home I feel like I can breathe everything's done for the day almost everything still doing laundry still got a pack but we're leaving for our trip tomorrow and i'm pretty excited about that so for now thanks for watching i'll see you guys then the official pokemon website posted a new update today about the buddy system and it hints that the buddy system might earn you more than just candies while you're walking with your pokemon the exact quote is with the buddy pokemon feature you can choose a favorite pokemon from your collection to travel at your side opening up in-game rewards and experiences. Your buddy Pokemon will appear alongside your trainer avatar on your profile screen and reward you with helpful bonuses, including candies.